was ready to pay. The statement was read by the chairman of the Public Accounts Committee and seconded by Member of Parliament for Dom Kwabenya, Ajoa Safo, who is also a member of the committee. The Public Procurement Act, for instance, under Section 92, states that if you, proc if you violate any of the provisions in the Act, it amounts to a criminal offence, and for that matter, you ought to be prosecuted. So we urge that when these recommendations come, some, your Honourable Chair could refer it to the Attorney General to take the necessary steps. Members immediately reacted to the statement. If an audit report is to come out, which indicts the head of the institution, and you expect the same head of institution to sit in the chair and then uh, uh, be indicted, Definitely, these reports will not be worked on without getting the necessary uh, authorization from GS, and yet they were receiving salaries. This is something that is very serious, and we are not doing this nation any good. Year in and year out, we come, and what I say, we express woes of lamentation, and then we leave. It's too ritualistic. Mr. Speaker, as you have said, I've been also been here for a long time, some time, some time. But, but we can't continue like this. I have been involved for several years on this committee. And I sit down here become speaker and they bring, they bring the report and the things that we were talking about in the 1990s through the 2000s. Now we are in 2015 and it is repeating itself. So uh, I would suggest leadership. Next week, let's look for an opportunity and see how we can create the forum to discuss these things. Members also commented on a statement by the Member of Parliament for Nsuwam Adwajiri, Frank Anodompre, which called for decentralizing processes of the scholarship secretariat and regulating its activities. Uh, sometimes we believe uh, as if the whole Ghana is in Accra here, uh, which for me should not be the case. If not at the district level, at least it should be at the regional level so that uh, the very people that we've instituted the scheme can have great access uh, to the project. Meanwhile, the Deputy Minister of Education in, in charge of secondary education, Alex Treme, said the ministry has instituted an audit implementation committee to implement recommendations of the Auditor General. What we are going to do differently is that um, we are putting together a small committee uh, which will be in charge by the, the Ghana Education Service, the Director of Ghana Education Service, to take up the report and go through it one after the other. And then make sure that uh, each recommendation is carried to the latter.